Where are you going? You want to go on an adventure? All right, let's go. Go to the door. Come go on. to the door. Got to get to the door. Hey guys, Shaper 1000 here. It's 1135 Saturday morning. We're on our way. We've got the boat behind us there. You can see that. So the boat's coming too. And I got a couple animals here. I got Bruno. Hi Bruno. And monkey. Yeah. And bear. So we're on our way. If anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Gotta stop at Walmart, get a couple things, and we're gonna book it out to the Gulf Coast. So, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, here we are. We're at Campsite 61. Here's the boat. We dropped the boat off and went and checked in. Old truck's running funky. It's got a knock at an idle. <laughs> so, we can park our boat here for free, but there's no overnight boat parking at the docks. You can pay to leave it down at the at the ramp which is a nice sloped ramp mm -hmm. yeah it's just it's not like a real steep incline like this it's more like this mm -hmm. so that'll be nice but the thing of it is is you gotta pull your boat out so there's no docks to leave your boat in the water so why pay seven dollars when we can just park the boat right here we've got plenty of room our tent is going to go what right here mm -hmm. our tent's going to go right here Bruna's excited. I'm going to move the fire pit over to here in this general vicinity, probably right here. There's the picnic table. So, awesome. Time to set up the tent. Well, first, um, what's his name? Camping with Steve. He would set up the tent and everything and then do his step two. Yeah. Well, mine's step one. We're here. It's time to crack a beer open. There you go. All right.
Okay, guys. Monkey went to walk up and get a gallon of water. She's got drinking water, but Bruno keeps knocking his over. So they have drinking water up here. So she went to go get a gallon for Bruno. So she don't waste so he don't waste all her bottle of water. But anyway, got, finally got the fire going, man. It took took forever for it to take hold. I actually had to move the fire ring to get it to go because wasn't getting enough air. So we got her going now. I mean it was going, it just wasn't going right. And that wood I don't know, it seems like it's kind of hard to start that wood from that firewood from uh, Walmart. It's $6.99 a box. But I should have cut up some wood we had around the house. Now there's some wood here. There's a nice pile of wood here um, that needs cut up. I think it'll it'll burn because it's what someone's drug out of the woods. So I think that'll burn good at nighttime. But this stuff, I'm going to make some beef stew tonight. So. This stuff, uh, hopefully, it'll it'll give me what I need for coals, you know, because I'm gonna use my Dutch oven. Uh, so yeah, uh, I also brought the Coleman stove for like just cooking breakfast, you know, like eggs and uh, bacon. Uh, I brought my cast iron skillet for that. I'll just use the Coleman stove for that. So yeah, that'll be that'll that'll be good. That way I don't have to get a big fire going in the morning and you know just to cook cook breakfast um, I like doing it that way but kind of limited on wood I don't want to have there's a Walmart a few miles away from here but I don't want to have to go pay another you know $6.99 for a box of wood to, um, just to cook some breakfast on so this will be like you know for for her um, what do you call it um, s'mores so she can have her her marshmallows and chocolate uh, so Bruno's loving it out here uh, the tent looks pretty good so right now I'm just chilling We got a nice cool breeze here and it is very shaded I know the Sun's peeking through over here a little bit but um, yeah we uh, so but it is it is pretty shaded there's a couple pine trees here and there's a palm tree there and um, yeah it's it's decent it's decent so you know the breeze really helps out a lot so and it got hot there for a minute man it was like 90 something and uh setting the tent up and then building a fire but i want to get some good coals burnt down because it'll take a while to make the stew uh, i'm not going to film the whole thing but i'll show you a little bit of what i'm going to do with it so yeah thanks for coming along with us guys our first actual camping trip together we've been together four years next month and uh, we've, we've camped in the backyard this is the first time <laughs> she was sitting here I was building a fire and she said can you believe we're here <laughs> so I don't know if we're gonna take the boat out tonight or not um, got the hood up on the truck because I'm I got the uh, the cooler plugged in I'm letting it run for a little bit for the drinks but um, they got a little store up here by the uh, by the boat ramp, so like they close at five though. I don't know what time it is, but in case we need ice, which I'm sure we'll need some more ice tomorrow, they got a little bit of this and that, you know. And uh, so that's that's kind of handy. I mean, I think we pretty much brought everything we need, but so yeah, awesome guys. Thanks for joining us. I do appreciate it. Uh, so yeah. Just gonna sit here and chill for a little bit. I'll kick you on when I get to making the, the food. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a how-to because I think I already made a beef stew one time on Chef Shea Bear, I'm not sure, but you know, I'll just kind of talk to you. Got the heat blowing in my face. I'll just kind of talk to you guys while, you know, while I'm doing that and you can see a little bit about what I'm gonna do. 
like I said, I'll just brown up my, my, uh, I think she got beef tips. I'll just brown them up first and then I'll strain them out, strain the grease off of them. And then, and then, uh, then I'll show you what I put in. You know, we'll put the broth in and, um, maybe a little bit of flour to thicken up and my seasonings and stuff like that. So monkey's back. She got her water. All right. I'll kick you guys back on here in a few. Okay, guys, so I thought I'd take you for a little walk. Show you on campground a little bit. We're in Site 61. Okay, 61 on the tree. This is Site 62. This is a big site. Little squirrel. There are squirrels around here. I think that's a trash bin there. Yeah, see, there's a little squirrel right under that picnic table. This is washing up water or whatever. The drinking water's up there. We're not going to go that far right now. But uh, Wait, no, this is drinking water too. Okay, cool. So we're right across from Monkey Walk clear up here to get it. Protect our feet and furry friends. Do not throw glass containers in campfires. Cool. I don't know what this is for. But that's a hell of a big site there. I'd like to get that next time we come, because I'm sure we'll be back. Okay, this is site 59 here. It's little. But that's a big site. That, that whole area there's uh, site 62. I don't know what the green's on here for. Um, there's some water there. It doesn't say drinking water, but there is drinking water up here. Site 56. This is site 58. It's a nice little site here, too. Yeah, I like this. Not as much room to park, but... Uh, yeah, right underneath this tree here. Pitch your tent right here. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Looks like this tree's falling over. Yep, it's dead. There's a tree, it's still alive, believe it or not. But look at the hole, you can see right through it. Cool. This don't have a fire ring in it. There's our site. Sorry, can't walk far either. So it goes around. I forget how many sites there are here. Uh, 20 something sites. But like I said, this is the tent camping. This is not the, uh, you know, the RVs. They got the RVs when you first pull in. There's half a million dollar RVs sitting there. And, not a person out as you can hear all around us you know us tenters we get outside we do things you know promote my channel here <laughs>
Ooh, it's really going down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're using that for a pot, like if you want to cook chili or stew in this case, or soup beans, you don't have to put coals on top. It's only if you're going to use it for an oven. So, just about ready, Mama. Yay. <laughs> you getting hungry? Yeah. He's getting finally getting worn down. He's been smiling all day. And... <laughs> cool. Okay, guys. People over there got a nice fire going. Kind of hard to focus after dark, but I'll show you our campsite. Looks blurry in here for some reason. But, there we go. There's Monkey waiting to eat. Got plenty of light back here because I hung the lantern about 10 feet up in the tree. I'm on my. Yeah. Uh, maybe nine. about eight feet here but then it drops off down here so but yeah as you can see it's I mean I don't have any light on on the camera that's all coming from that lantern yeah. and as soon as I take this off of there I'll throw some more wood on there get some more coals going uh, monkey brought back her stick for roasting marshmallows I'm find a long one. <laughs> so hopefully that'll work for her. So, finally got the food done. Mm-hmm. How was it, Monk? Very good. Mmm. Carrots are good. Mm-hmm. A lot of people cut them up. I just throw them in. Mm. Then baby carrots like that. Yeah, they're fine. You know, one time I made it, it was real salty for some reason. Like, the beef broth had a lot of salt in it. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost couldn't eat it. No, yeah, that was bad. This is good. I mean, it's hardy enough that she's using a fork. Mm hmm. I didn't put any flour or what's that stuff called? Cream of tartar? I don't remember. Yeah, stuff that thickens things up. Yeah. I didn't. This is hot. Mm hmm. So we gotta get a fire going. She'll roast her marshmallows. Yeah, I think. You think that's a bat? Mm hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Uh -uh. Very hot though. Got to let it cool for yeah, a few um, minutes. I didn't season a lot because you know I was afraid of it. You know, getting too salty again. Yeah. It tastes just the broth. Let's see. Seems fine, huh? Well, I did add some water to it. Yeah. While I was cooking. Yeah, see, I could have seasoned that just fine. Oh, yeah. In fact, I think I am going to season mine. Oh, yeah. He's got to get some seasoning. Mine's fine. Just hot. I'm mm -hmm. put a little 
cayenne pepper, some lemon pepper. And I might do that too. What? Put some cayenne pepper in there. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, now that I saw it. lemon and cayenne? Yeah. Cayenne really? pepper's good for you. Mm -hmm. I did forget the garlic. Yeah, he forgot the garlic. He was going to put garlic in it. Got fresh garlic at the house. I looked at it too in the fridge. I did too. I thought, oh, I'll get it in a few minutes. Because he did say he wanted some, so. Well, good for my heart too. Yeah, it is good. Been off my meds for a couple of days. Yeah, we had to get him some new meds. I still haven't got them all, but at least he's got the important ones. Yeah. So. so I've been eating a lot of garlic to help thin my blood out. Yeah. Until I get my meds back. Which he did, but he hasn't been on them too long. But anyway, this is great, huh, Mama? Mm-hmm. I was telling him earlier, you was like, can you believe we're here? <laughs> I know. I still am in shock, I think. We've been trying to do this for how long? Four years. Yeah. Well, yeah. Three years and eleven months. Uh huh. Yeah. Not more of this? Or... No. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite nice. Yeah. Pretty nice out here. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow we'll get the boat out. Yeah. If it doesn't rain. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, get the boat out tomorrow. But like I said, it, you uh, there's no overnight boat parking. You can park it in the parking lot, mm -hmm. but it's seven dollars. Why not just bring it back here if you got to pull it out of the water anyway? Right, it's just you bring know? it back here. I mean, no they should have courtesy docks there. Yeah. I guess they're afraid of people sleeping on their boat. Well, just tell them you can't sleep on your boat. You know, but you can park it there. Yeah. Because either way, you got to take it out of the water, you might as well just bring it back here. Right. I'll just... Instead of maybe. unhitching the trailer and leaving the trailer and shit down there, I'll just... Mm -hmm. We'll just bring it back here and... Yep. Then it's with us. Yeah. And it's not that much of a pain because, I mean, it's not as a big, huge boat, so... This is very good, babe. Thank Keep you. Them in. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Want some tikka men? Hmm? Tikka men? No, thanks. Mm -mm. <laughs> now, this broth was good. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there was something wrong with it. They just got too much salt in it somehow. Because I know. Well, I salted it, but not, you know, I mean, I didn't put that much in there. Yeah. We almost couldn't eat it. I think we had a bowl each and that was it. The rest of it got tossed because it was just too salty. Yeah, yeah, it was. Horrible. Well, first, I thought I put too much salt on mine. I was like, man, I think I oversalted. I said, I think I oversalted this. I meant mine. And she said, yeah, it is pretty salty. I said, oh, yours too? I meant mine. She said, no, mine's salty too. I tasted hers and it was just as bad as mine. Mine was a little worse because I added salt to it, so. Which I didn't know or I wouldn't add it any. Right. Mm. So yeah, we just thought we'd enjoy some of our dinner with you. Yeah. I told her I swore I wasn't gonna do the videotape of the cooking, but I don't do it that often. I just don't want my videos to run together to always be, you know, the same. Anymore, it's like, you know, you watch these camping videos and it's always the same. You can predict it. Yeah. They're going to be backpacking into the woods. Now they're going to take their backpack off. Yeah. And then they're going to show them setting it on the ground. <laughs> then they're going to show them opening it. That's a little bit much. <laughs> and they're going to show them getting the axe or the saw out. And then they're going to show them three or four different camera angles of walking to some wood. Then they're going to cut it up. Then they're going to take it back, show them, walk and take them back. Then they're going to show them processing the wood, every damn bit of it. Like I said, you know, they'll have a 
57 minute video and 37 minute of it is just b-roll yeah you know i mean you can predict it and then oh i'm kind of tired i need to take a break let's let's, let's have something to eat you know some of them don't even talk mm -mm. So, and then they make something to eat mm -hmm. and you're gonna watch them eat it and you're gonna hear <laughs> You know, and then, you know, what's next? I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or they'll build a shelter. I forgot that part. But they'll show every little thing. They'll get a close-up shot, pulling out their knife. You know? Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, it's like, yeah. okay, we get it. You're going to use your we knife. We know you got to use a knife to cut. We know you got to use an axe or have, a saw. Yeah. If you're going to cut wood, you're going to use an axe or something. Yeah, we all know that. But... Okay, they're taking it out, and then they're taking it out of the sheath, and each one is a different cut and a different camera. It's like, that's too much. It all runs together, and they're all doing it. Mm -hmm. All of them. It's the same thing. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell her, I'll say, oh, I'll tell you what's going to go on in the first five minutes of this video. Well. She's like, what? It's going to be walking into the woods, and pretty much that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Different angles of walking, stepping over the camera. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that a cool shot? Maybe Not the really. first time, maybe the first time it was ever done, you know. Mm -hmm. But geez, I mean, that shit was getting old when, you know, fucking Les Stroud started that. Mm. Well, I mean, he's a survivalist now. Yeah. But you know, everybody, and then everybody tries to be like him and copy him, and then even he said, you know, YouTube videos—they're all running together because they're all doing the same thing. Yeah. You know? Let's go do some stealth camping. That's a big thing. It's like, okay, they sneak into a place. They try not to get caught. Mm -hmm. They go to sleep after they make their soup or whatever. Mm -hmm. And good night. Shows them going to sleep. And then shows them waking up and just packing up and getting out of there. Yeah, I know same. how to pack, so I don't need help on that. <laughs> so I kind of hated doing that cooking thing, but no. I thought, That's fine. Oh, you know one time once in a while but that's why you know we're trying to show you the little campgrounds you know we're sitting here enjoying our meal talking to you guys and right. sharing the campgrounds with you you know showing you different things and you know so and I, I did a review on the tent her and I set the tent up so yeah I didn't leave that part out it's just a different video you know so yep, different tent different video yeah like I said they see the tent set up and stuff and they're like well you didn't show that that's because what I, what we did was uh, I did a review on it she did one too but of how to set it up and stuff like that so that's going to be separate videos so, so we're not sitting here an hour long of just right you know, so you don't get bored of it so we're going to finish our dinner oh hmm. I already showed him your stick didn't I your little stick? Mm-hmm. All right, show them the one I made you. Where's it at? Right here. I made her. I made. I made her a good stick, so she don't burn her hands. Yay! So, all right, guys. We'll be back with you in chit chat. Mm-hmm. Looks dark out, but really, it's only about 7:30. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll be back with you. Okay guys, this is that light I was telling you about in yesterday's video, I believe. Look at that, that's one LED inside there. Okay, see just one, all right? Now I'm gonna shut the camera light off. And I'm gonna point you out into the woods there. Let's see, let's go over here where it's nice and dark. Check this out. one LED isn't that cool just one it's amazing I wanted to share that with you 
and it's got a lock when you squeeze the trigger it's got like a gun style trigger on it and you just push that button there and then and you can set it you know on the ground pretty cool and it's rechargeable that thing is badass man I mean right there's a good shit <laughs> you know that's probably 150 feet over there okay guys so this is the end of night one um, I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of these and make one long video I'm gonna do today was one video and then tomorrow will be another video and then Monday will be another one give you guys something to watch and monkey walked up to the bathhouses to get a shower I'm gonna kill this light over here and I don't know why camera's crooked for some reason that's weird that's better okay so anyway Bruno's in the tent and like I said I'm gonna kill this light monkey's got the big light the one I just showed you guys a minute ago and uh, so she'll have plenty of light to get back on she did up the dishes I'm going to bed I'll get my shower tomorrow and uh, so with that being said guys appreciate you tagging along tomorrow's gonna be a fun day too so thanks for watching Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now guys bye bye and take care next time on Shea Bear Camping 2020